Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the FRC job tutorial series. I am Alan Oden, current uh, head programmer for Team 3313 Megatronics. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to create a new project and just set up some basic joysticks and drive controls. For the sake of these tutorials we're going to be using an iterative robot type. Yeah, it's just easier to deal with autonomous that way. To create a new project you just want to click in this new project up here. You want to go over to FRC Java and Iterative Robot Template. Okay, you can name it whatever you want to. Um, since I'm going to be writing this code for our testing robot, which is a code named Rover, we're going to entitle this project Rover Iterative. But like I said earlier, it doesn't matter at all. For the robot class, uh, you can leave it what you want to. Um, naming doesn't matter. Okay, so once this loads up, you just open up these here in source, open up whatever you named your main robot class. And in here is just the basics of any iterative robot. Now what this means is that the robot code will update every time the driver station sends a new packet, which is about 50 times a second. Now in these comments here, right away, it just gives you some basic information, like this is what happens when you first turn on the robot here. This is what happens every uh, 50 times a second while in autonomous and 50 times a second while in teleop. Joysticks, you're going to want to start out up here, right outside of robot in it. You can just define a new joystick. Now, you can name this, again, whatever you want to, but for clarity, you're probably going to want to name something that will make sense. For some of our other bots, we actually require multiple joysticks. We name the first one drive stick and the second one shoot stick. So, just to keep with that naming convention, we're going to name this one Drive Stick. And now we're going to actually define it. We need to make this equal to a joystick. So we put equals new joystick. Now we want this to be the first joystick that's plugged into the driver station, so we're going to put one. Now right now it's going to throw an error saying that it doesn't know what a joystick is. You can do this, you can fix this manually by clicking the little light bulb over here and clicking Add Import. Or you can press Control Shift I. And that will automatically fix all imports. Capitalization is very important in Java. If you mess up a capital, like I did just there, I had a capital S instead of a lowercase it will give you errors and it won't know what to do with it. Now, for, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to drive our bot. Right now, Rover is set up to be a mechanum drive bot. So, uh, all robot drives are defined the same way. It's defined like this. Again, you want to fix the imports. Find like this. And now inside here, you're going to put the port numbers for the PWM port numbers for each of your motors. If you uh, control click, it'll show you what exactly is behind the code here. For example, if you just put two numbers in, the first one will be the left motor, the second one will be the right motor. If you put four in, it's front left, rear left, front right, rear right. So we're going to set this up like this. Now keep in mind that these are just dummy values. These, it, with your robot, it's very likely that was, these will not match up with your PWM port numbers. So you will need to change these. You will need to go and actually look on your sidecar. Now since there's nothing we need to set up right away, we're just going to drop straight down to teleop periodic. And we're going to tell the drive system to match up with the joystick. Now with mechanum here, we're going to do main drive dot 
And then this will bring up a list of different things you can do with it. We're going to do a Cartesian drive system. Uh, and this first one here is how it will move in the X direction. So we are going to want to grab the drive sticks X, the joysticks X location on the joystick itself. So we're going to want to go to drive stick. And then it will bring up a menu here. We're going to want to get the X axis. So we're going to go to here. And then it will, by default, bring up the X axis. Now you don't have to do what I'm doing right here, but it's a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to do it. <clears throat> now, I can get to the, I'm going to get back to this in just a second. Now the second one here is the Y. So we're going to want to do the same thing as we did up here. So you can just copy paste, except we want the Y axis instead. So we're going to copy paste it here. And replace X with Y. Now, not all joysticks have this, so you might need to do this a little bit differently, but with our joystick, it has a Z axis, which means that the joystick itself can rotate. So we're going to use that to set up the robot to actually rotate instead of moving straight side to side. Again, this is set up pretty much the same as the X and Y, except you change it to Z. Now, this last part here, is for a gyro, gyro. Our robot doesn't have one of those, so we're going to leave that blank for now. And this here is pretty much all you need to be able to actually drive your robot with Mechanum Drive. Now I'm going to show you something else here that you can do instead. This is for driving it if you wanted a tank drive. I'm going to comment this out quick here. So if you wanted to do a tank drive instead, you just put in main drive and then you scroll down to up to tank drive here now with this you would want two separate joysticks so we're gonna put in the first joystick and we're gonna just gonna quick create a second joystick like I said before uh, we typically name our second joystick shoot stick just because that's what we use to handle the shooting and other things like the hopper and vision calculations, which I may get to in a later tutor tutorial. We're having this be the second joystick. It's going to be on joystick port number two. So then for the this, we're going to put in shoot stick. And there we go. Now what this is going to do is this makes it so the left wheels are moved by the drive stick and the right wheels are driven using the shoot stick. Okay, and this finishes up the tutor basic tutorial for joysticks and drive systems using an iterative bot. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over adding separate motor controls for things like uh, taking last year's game, for example, actually shooting the ball if you were to set up another motor to control the shoot system. This has been Alan Oden, FRC Java Tutorials from Team 3313.